Hey guys, well we're finally getting back to uh, the old uh, antenna rotator uh, project. So I guess we're kind of still at the proof of concept uh, stage. Um, you probably remember from the last uh, edition that uh, I had basically asked you guys if you had uh, any clever ways of uh, taking the output of the encoder, the rotary encoder, and being able to provide a direction signal to the uh, stepper motor driver um, because obviously uh, if you just give this a clock with no direction it doesn't matter which way you turn this the stepper will always go the same way so uh, a, a viewer very kindly suggested an LS7084 and so I duly ordered LS7084 off the uh, interweb um, and I'm showing you the packet for a reason <laughs> because that's not exactly what was in the packet when it finally did arrive. However, another little uh, development uh, during the interim was that in the current Elector magazine, the Elector Labs, there is an article of a rotary encoder interface without a microcontroller uh, using uh, basically 74 uh, HS series uh, chips. And so I thought, just out of curiosity, um, We'll have a look at that, uh, and as it turns out, the author supplies one already built, um, and so I said, "Sure, let's get one of those." So I got one of those um, from Germany, and here it comes. Here it is. Um, so this is the complete module uh, with the uh, with a uh, manual rotary encoder uh, fitted to it. Um, I think it's fair to say that at my age, working with this mi sub-miniature surface mount stuff is less than exciting. <laughs> so it turns out that this circuit, what it does, is actually the equivalent of a 7183 or a 7083 chip, uh, which is, it provides a, an up count and a down count, rather than a single count and then an up-down signal. Um, and so it's not immediately suitable for my needs. Um, it could be it could be modified though uh, to be used. Anyway, inside this packet was this LS7184. Um, so I went and printed out data sheets and everything else. Unfortunately, for my application, this is functionally equivalent. Uh, the difference between a 084 and a 184 are primarily that uh, the 084 is a pure TTL thing, so you drive it with 5 volts and you have to give it 5 volts. Whereas this guy here, you can give it 3 volts or 5 volts. It's fine. Now, it, they both say that they are CMOS and TTL compatible when it comes to their output driving. And so uh, this guy needs to be able to drive the input of the stepper driver, which is a TTL uh, level signal. Um, so the circuit itself is really simple, um, and so I've wired it up here. Um, I'm not using one of the signals out of this chip is is a clock signal um, for the stepper motor, and I'm not using that. I'm just taking one of the outputs of the encoder straight in because uh, that seems to work fine. And I thought, why change it? Um, because one of the uh, facilities in this chip is by using different levels of resistor you can set the different um, periods for the clock pulse and all that sort of stuff and I thought eh, I don't need to worry about any of that because my application is very very simple um, so uh, this little rat's nest of uh, wires here is uh, my attempt at wiring it all up um, and so I've just taken the negative side of each of the outputs here and taken them to the zero volt line. Then the positives go in pins five and six over here. And one of the positives also goes off over as the pulse to the actual motor itself. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and there's this resistor. You know, so I just picked like an arbitrary value. I didn't know whether it needed to be in circuit or not. Since I'm not using the clock pulse output, but I just took an arbitrary one mega resistor in there just so we could s eliminate it in case things were not working later on. Having juiced this thing up, um, if we keep an eye on here and here, um, I think you'll see that we have success. Because if I turn this clockwise, the stepper motor goes clockwise. And if I turn it anti clockwise, the stepper goes anti clockwise. 
So, this works, we're good. Um, proof of concept is proven, our concept is proven. Um, so the next step would be um, to design the actual, if you like, the industrial implementation of it. Because uh, at the moment I'm using a little mini power supply here which has 5 volts and 12 volts out. Um, tiny, tiny little stepper motor. The final version, I've ordered up um, a fairly chunky EL34, sorry, NEMA 34 with a brake on the um, shaft. This is the uh, final power supply, which is the full 24 volt 17 amp job. And I got a, a DC to DC converter because this only has 24 volt out. And so this will do my 24 down to 5, which will power everything uh, that needs 5 volts. Assuming that all works, which I'm mystic it will, um, then I have to design an enclosure because what I want to do ideally is have everything in a single enclosure except the power supply and the four wires going to it. Um, and so the power supply, the associated circuitry here, the um, stepper driver, uh, the uh, rotary controller here, um, everything will be in a single enclosure. Uh, and in fact, I was thinking last night, I'll probably put my uh, my SDR uh, module in there as well. Um, as I said, the dependency on the next version of this little project will be how long it takes the um, motor to come from China. Although the um, the delivery said it was nine days by DHL, so it was ordered by I don't know three or four days ago. So we shall see how uh, how accurate their nine days are. <laughs> Um, right, that's it for this update. Um, yeah, um, I will go back to uh, taking some more medication and uh, see you guys the next time. Cheers for now. Bye.